Hey everyone, Jolt here. Many would argue that Obsidian's power lies in its plugin ecosystem. I for one could not imagine my life in Obsidian without many of the plugins I love and use every day. Obsidian Publish is Obsidian's web publishing service that allows you to seamlessly convert your markdown files into a web page. It is super easy to set up and super easy to use. But unfortunately, Obsidian Publish does not support plugins. This is why I have been putting off publishing my own website because I wanted to make a visual website using Excolitra. I think I've solved the problem. Let me show you. So this is my new web page. It only has a few pages now, but I'm going to be extending this. This is the opening page with the three links that you can follow. And if I click here on the About Obsidian Excolitra link, then you will see that this page loads here. And on the page, I have a couple of embedded objects. So for example, I can start to play this video right there. Or if I want, I can experiment with Excolitra right here, right within the web page. And there are, of course, some additional links here as well. If I come back to the welcome page, I also have here another page that includes a process flow explaining the steps you need to take to get Excolidraw work with Obsidian Publish. And here I just want to point out that I have this embedded web page as well as I have this embedded page from Obsidian Publish itself. So this is one of the files that you can also find here with the Publish CSS and JS files. So let me show you how this looks on the Obsidian side. So in Obsidian, I have my files here. For example, here's my welcome x draw file and you can see the three links here and all of my files are under the x draw blog folder so you can see i have lots of other folders in obsidian but i can set up which folder i want to publish and for example if i look at my published js and css files i just noticed that i have a spelling error here so i misspelled create so I make my changes and then I click here on publish changes and all I need to do is to click publish and then Obsidian will publish the changed file. And if I come back here and press F5 to reload, then you can see that create was updated as well as of course, if I click on my image right here, then you can see that create was updated right there as well so this is how easy it is to get something out on obsidian publish once you've set it up so how do you set it up and how do you make excolidraw work with it first of all you need to subscribe to obsidian publish once you've subscribed to the service you will need to register a domain name this is because even though obsidian publish will give you a default domain and website, Obsidian does not allow publication of the published JS file which you require for Excolidraw to work. I'm going to show you that in a second. But first of all, I want to show you that getting your own domain name is cheap and easy. I like to use Namecheap and let me just show you that, for example, I'm going to search for Bob's Garden as a domain name, but I guess many other domain names could come to mind. And what I want to show you here is if you're not picky about the name, so for example, you're happy with Bob's Garden online, or maybe you're happy with Bob's Garden site, then you can get these sites for as low as $1 per year. It is really peanuts. Now, once you've set up your own domain name, you will need to follow the instructions on the Obsidian website right here about setting up a Cloudflare account and configuring your Cloudflare account. It is also pretty simple and it's completely free. 
So you come to Cloudflare's page, you sign up, and you do the configurations as described in the Obsidian help. Once you're set up with that, you will need to download the publish CSS and the publish JS files. And by the way, I just noticed that I've mistyped them here. So we will correct it and publish it again just to see how it works. And you can download the publish CSS and JS files from here. And then the final thing you need to do is you need to configure Excolitra to export SVGs, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But let's first correct plugin JS and plugin CSS because that is something that bothers me. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to change this to publish JS and publish CSS. And I'm going to press Control S to force save. And then I'm going to click here on the publish icon which recognizes that my file.svg, so this is something you need to pay attention to, and this is what we're going to talk about, has changed. I click publish, it's uploaded, and when I open my site again, I need to reload this page. And as the page reloads, you can see that I already have the publish JS and publish CSS there. So I managed to correct my drawing this quickly on the web. So how does this work? Well, I want to show you that here on the page, so this is my web page. And so this looks a bit odd because I have a transparent background, but I can actually show you that we can uh, do this with a non-transparent background as well. I prefer the transparent background, but if we switch to here, then if I just change this to false, so this is the export transparent now set to false, and I now switch to Excolid Raw and publish or save, then if I come back here, then you can see here I have my page here. Now notice that here I have the SVG file embedded. And if I embed the SVG like this, then the pages, the web page, and the internal page are not going to be interactive, but that's not a problem. When you publish this, this is going to be interactive. Now, one of the additional features that I'm now releasing is a new command palette action that if I select the row where I have the SVG file name, then I can open Excolid Raw Drawing. I can select this action and it will find me the Excolid Raw Drawing corresponding to that SVG file and open it in Excolid Raw so I can do my settings. Now, in this file, I'm doing a couple of things and let me just show you what I'm doing here and let me walk you through on some of these. So first of all, you can see I have my front matter here. Now it is quite likely that in your case, you have a different setting. You might have the front matter hidden. I think that is the default Obsidian setup. So then you don't see the front matter when you switch to markdown view mode. To see the front matter, you need to come to settings, editor, and here, properties in document, you need to switch this. I prefer source mode. You can also switch it to visible. If I switch it to visible, then I see this view, which is quite practical, but adding properties for Excolid Raw for me is more convenient in the source mode. So I'm going to show you how to do this in the source mode, but you can of course do it in the visible mode as well. I'm old fashioned. I actually like this view better. So for example, I'm going to set this back to transparent true. You can see here that I have a front matter switch here or property, Excolitro auto export SVG. So how did I know that this is here? If I start to type Excolitro auto export, then in the source mode, it will prompt me with also a bit of help 
what I can type here and I'm going to type in SVG. So this way, what I'm configuring is that this drawing specifically, I want to automatically export to SVG every time I save this file. And this is convenient because I don't want all of my drawings to be exported automatically to SVG. If you always want to insert SVG, you can also come to plugin settings and here under Excolid Draw, embed into your notes, you can choose under export settings, auto export settings, you can choose to auto export SVG. If you make this setting, then all of your drawings are automatically going to be saved and as an SVG file next to the page. This is actually good if you're concerned about the longevity of your Excolidro drawings, because every time you modify a drawing, there's going to be a hard copy in SVG. By the way, the Excolidro publish feature only works with SVG files. You can also, once you set up auto export to SVG, you can also come here and change the type of file to insert into the document when you select create embed new drawing. So you could change this to SVG and here now I have a new setting that you can disable adding a comment with the links under this. I'm not going to go into the details here. You can experiment with this yourself. I prefer the following settings. I like to insert Excolidro drawings into my drawings and I don't like auto export SVG because I don't need all those SVG files. But if you want, that's another solution. Instead, I come to the markdown view mode of my drawing and I add the auto export SVG switch to the drawings I want to export to SVG. And so when now I save the drawing, then that drawing is going to be updated here. In terms of the embedding here, it is very easy to switch to SVG because if I just delete the SVG, then you can see that the Excolid draw is embedded. Now in this case, this is not going to work with Obsidian Publish. If I publish it like this, then it's not going to be an image, it's just going to be text. So you need to switch this to SVG. And as I showed you, you can use the command palette action to open the file in Excolid Raw. Now, the other feature I want to show you is here, I support CSS classes and I've added so far a single CSS class to my publish CSS, and that is the EX page height, which will transform your drawing on the web page to be as high as your page, if it fits with the width. And I want to show you that, for example, in case of this file, the welcome Excolid draw, here I don't have that switch, and as a consequence, this is not going to be as high as the page allows. So let me show you how this looks like. You can look at the welcome and the welcome is as high as the width would uh, require while and the other pages, for example, the about the visual thinking workshop page or the about Obsidian Excolid Draw page and the others are as high as the page allows because my thinking is I want to export a web page where you always see an image and then you navigate to the next image. So instead of scrolling up and down, I want to navigate from image to image and create a visual website. Now, in terms of the published JS and CSS files, what you need to do is you need to place them in your vault root. So you can see here that in my vault root, I have my published JS and my published CSS files. Now you might not see published JS and published CSS. For this, you need to go to plugin settings under files 
and you need to click here to detect all file extensions so when i click this then you can see in the background those files disappeared and when i click again then these files are shown again so you need to do this and also these files i'm not able to edit in obsidian so if i click on for example publish css then it will open in the default application on your machine i use notepad plus plus on windows and this is where i edit the publish css file i'm going to share the publish css file as well as the publish js file and you can modify it to your liking or you can just simply use these files as they are now the final feature i want to show you is about updating the xcolidraw file so what do i mean if you look at this file right here then you can see that this includes links to files in my vault so just to show you how this works if i come here to how to set up obsidian publish and i rename this file i'm just going to add xxx to the end then xcolitro updates and places xxx after the file however what i also want to show you is if i open my welcome page right here and this is my embedded svg if now i change the name of the file and i'm going to change this back to publish so i'm removing the xxx then this image is not updated and now you can imagine that as you are modifying your files you might not remember which files have changed and which have not for this reason i'm including a new command palette action and that's called Excolid raw obsidian publish find svg and png exports that are out of date and when i click on this it's going to collect data it finds two files one of them is actually because i'm linking a logo that uh, it is not relevant because i'm not publishing this file but the other file is actually something i'm publishing so here I can actually select the files that I recognize I really need to update and I can just simply click here on open selected. I also have a check recursive action. If I click this, it is going to find the same files. The check recursive is interesting if you have Excolidro files that have other Excolidro files decomposed within them because in that case it might not be the top level file but one of the more detailed files that have been updated and you would need to republish those files but in this case i'm just going to keep it like this and i'm going to click on open selected and that will open this file there automatically of course the name of publish uh, was updated and now if i press ctrl s I save this and now if I come over to my publish then it will notice that my publish SVG has changed. In reality it hasn't but I changed it back and forth so Obsidian sees it as a change and I can publish my updated file. This way I can ensure that my changes are reflected on my site. And that's it this is how the publish service works i think this opens amazing opportunities for obsidian publish and for xcolitraw now the features i've shown you work with svg files you can also export png files of course but the interactive components like the embedded videos or the embedded pages are not going to work with PNG they only work with SVG so I recommend using the SVG files thank you